What's good, everybody? It's your boy Trent Bennett, representing Triple Up TV, Fitness, Firearms, and Fire Prevention. I'm gonna bring you another um, review today with the Staccato 2011. Is it really worth the hype? Who knows? But we're gonna find out. But before we get started, I'm gonna hit you with a little training montage as usual. Let's get it. It's your boy Trent Bennett representing Triple F TV once again. And today I'm going to bring you a little heat with the new Staccato 2011. And before we get started, safety first, let's make sure we got everything. There's no mag in here. Make sure there's nothing in here. We're good. Uh, went to the range. Uh, shout out to my boy Frank uh, who let me review this today. He been saying, hey, you probably want to do a review on this. Everybody just know a little history about the 2011. Uh, it's just based off of just the 1911. Classic. This is a classic. This is more of an update thing. Kimber, Staccato, need the one you can't go wrong. So I just did kind of a little comparison. Make sure this is empty as well. We're good. Um, almost the same size, um, but you know, there's different advantages, pros and cons to each one of them. Um, the pros to this, this is a lot more lighter than this, but guess what? It's gonna cost a lot more than this one as well. Um, this is a very fun shooting firearm, um, just 1911s in general. You know, everything just feels good about it. Um, you can't go wrong with the classic. You cannot go wrong with this. And this is chambered in 45 ACP. Um, and most of your 1911s, if you think about it, this being a Kimber, they're mainly just single stats for the most part. I think Rock Island has one that you can get it at a double stat, but this is just a single stat. So I think that's a disadvantage to some people, not everybody, just to some people. Um, I actually got another one in the, uh, for my wife that I gave to her. Um, so, you know, but whatever floats your boat, still a great shooting firearm. It's pretty much more so all metal, all steel, uh, and it is heavy, and but it's still a good shooting firearm. Now with Staccato, it feels a lot better in my opinion, but like I said, you're gonna pay for this. We're talking about in the range of $2,000 and up, but the ergonomics on this is just so good. I mean, it, it feels it's a lot smoother. And these are double stacks, uh, double stacks. Like I said, some of the same features that the 1911 has, but it's like they just stepped it up a little bit. And this one right here is my buddy Frank's, like I said, and this is his carry, everyday carry gun that he takes with him. Just, this is just, the question I would have ever said, is it worth the hype? <laughs> Absolutely. I can't afford it right now to be for real with you, but maybe in about two or three years, maybe my wife would get it for me. So, um, but very good shooting firearm, very accurate. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one. I mean, it's just a fun shooting firearm. It's definitely something one day I plan on putting um, in my collection. Um, but as today, I'm just glad to be able to just practice with it and do a little small review on it. And that's just a little small review on the 2011 Staccato. Um, but I absolutely believe that it's worth it. Um, the trigger also is phenomenal. So let's just take a quick look at it. A little take up right there. Like that's all the take up. Then you just go from real smooth, then go reset. It was real short. So 
They come, I think they come with two magazines. I'm not quite sure, but just the stuff that it comes with. And it also comes in its 2011 bag. Um, definitely a firearm. If it can fit into your, you know, budget, I think it's a great firearm. Right now, it's not for me. So I'm going to keep shooting my buddies if he allows me to shoot it, which I know he don't have a problem with. So, but, you know, like I said, 1911 and a 2011. So, if it was a comparison, if I had to compare, of course I'm going to go with the 2011. Just because you get more capacity with the double stack. Um, and the way he has it, you know, with the attachments with the hollow sun and the stream light, very good, very good. And both of these guns are his. And like I said, my friend Frank, I appreciate you letting me do the review on these. We just gonna keep it short. And you know, if you're in the market for looking for a 2011, I think first responders, uh, military can also get a discount on these. Um, but I think this one right here is around the $2,000 mark, but very good firearm, grip safety, um, hammer, everything. It's just the ergonomics is just so good. So. That's pretty much all I'm going to say about the 2011. Um, not much more to say. It speaks for itself. Go try it out for yourself. You'll have a blast. Again, my name is Trent Bennett, representing Triple F TV. Signing off. Peace.